This is um, just part two of what if they're wrong. And what I'm referring to is dates, specific dates for events and things. I know people, personally, I know people who have guessed wrong. And they've altered their whole lives because they got the dates wrong. I'm serious, their whole lives. And uh, now they're, they're living with regret. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have regrets. See, when you've had a bad past, like I was, I was an alcoholic, as I've said many times, I am a recovering alcoholic, and I wasted so much time in the bottle, you know, wasting talents, wasting time, all that. Every moment, you really do come to appreciate every hour, every moment, every day matters, what you do with that day. And sometimes I stress over it, and that's that's a mistake too, because um, we can't we can't get it back. We only have today what we do with today, how I use today. You know, I watched a, a, a movie. I'm not big on movies, but I am big on classics, on stories that I think matter and teach good values. And one of those uh, is an amazing book by Dumas, Alexander Dumas called The Count of Monte Cristo. And I've never read the book, and I've been wanting to watch the movie, and I thought, nah, it's too long, it's over two hours. And I spread it out over time, and it was it was well worthwhile. It was well worthwhile not because of just the story and the plot twist and the character development, but the moral of the story, which is very basic. Vengeance is the Lord's. See, that's when writers were great, when they wrote stories with good morals, stories that mattered. And these things should not be shunned. So the reason I bring that up is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch as many great movies as I can. I say great. I'm not talking about the Hollywood industry stuff. I'm talking about classic storylines. I'm going to read books. I'm going to study. I'm going to write. I'm going to create each day that I can. And yes, the days truly are getting shorter and shorter. It's not my imagination. And that's hard. Make the most of today. Carpe diem, seize the day. It's literally to seize it. And these fear mongers, they can't because they're waiting for the next disaster. They're sitting literally on the front porches with their guns ready. You know, and, and that's not how I'm going to live. And